All right, everyone, this is 6.6 .6 extra practice number two. Remember, uh, the formula we're going to need to use is the mid segment is equal to one half base one plus base two. Okay, so if you're going to find the length of each meet uh, of the median, the mid segment, here we go. We have UV is equal to one half the sum of the bases which is 18 plus 6 now it doesn't matter if you write the top base first or the bottom 6 plus 18 you're gonna get the same answer UV equals one half 18 plus 6 is 24 half of 24 is 12 okay you can do the same here ST is equal to one half the sum of the bases 5.1 plus 11.5 okay so what do we get here 16.6 .6. half of 16.6 .6 in your calculator is 8.3 okay obviously as you look through these we're going to progress we're going to get a little more difficult we convert to angles for a little while. Okay. So, again, still using the mid-segment theorem. Okay, so this time your mid-segment is 5x minus 23 is equal to 1 half 35 plus 19. Well, 35 plus 19, you type it in your calculator, and you get 54. Half of 54 is 27. Now it's a two-step equation. Add 23 to both sides. 5x equals 50, divide by 5, divide by 5, and x equals 10. Okay. If you were to set up the same for the next one, here's your mid-segment. Okay. Yz is 3x plus 39, and that's equal to 1 half... 24 plus 54 24 and 54 gives you 78 3x plus 39 is equal to half of 78 is 39 Minus 39 on both sides, and they both cancel. 3x equals 0. Divide by 3, divide by 3, and x still equals 0. Okay, so we're progressing. We're getting a little more difficult as we go. And now if you look, not only is the mid-segment um, an algebraic expression, but one of the bases is, and if you look at this one, both bases are. Okay, so we're just progressing, getting a little more difficult, but the formula is always the same. 2x plus 14 equals 1 half the sum of the bases, which is 3x plus 19 plus 9. All right, 19 and 9 makes 28. Now from here, you have to distribute your one half, okay? Which means to multiply. So two x plus 14 equals 1.5 x. Half of three is one and a half. Half of 20, uh, eight is 14. I'm gonna subtract one and a half x from both sides. And 2 minus 1 and a half is 0.5x plus 14 equals 14. Subtract 14 on both sides. 
and we get 0.5x equals 0. Divide by 0.5 and x still equals 0. Okay. Our next example, we have x plus 14 is our mid-segment, QR, equals one-half the sum of the bases, which is x plus 13 plus 2x plus 15. Now, we can combine two different things inside our set of parentheses. We have x plus 2x, which makes 3x, and we have 13 plus 15, which makes 28. Very similar to our previous question. Half of 3x and half of 28 is going to give us the same as before, so x, whoops, x plus 14 will stay equals half of 3x is 1.5x, half of 28 is 14. Okay, I'm going to subtract x on both sides. And we are left with 14 equals 0.5x plus 14. And what do you know? It's the same as before. Subtract 14, subtract 14, and we get 0 equals 0.5x. Divide by a half on both sides, and x equals 0. All right. Find BC. Well, if you notice, BC is no longer the mid-segment. BC is one of the bases. And our mid-segment is right here, ST. So we're going to solve the same way, and once we find X, we're going to plug it in for BC. So 11X minus 4 equals 1 half. 6X minus 1 plus 41. We're going to simplify inside. 41 minus 1 is just 40. I'm going to distribute. So 11x minus 4 equals half of 6x is 3x, half of 40 is 20. I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides, and we get 8x minus 4 equals 20. Whoops, equals 20. Getting ahead of myself. I'm going to add 4 on both sides, and 8x equals 24. Divide by 8 on both sides, and x equals 3. Okay, so bc is equal to 6 times 3 now instead of x, minus 1, which is 18 minus 1, which is 17. Okay, we're going to do the same, and we're going to find qt this time. Okay, so 4x minus 15 equals I'm gonna change around QT so 1 half QT is 3x minus 7 that's the same plus 7 on the top and there's a problem here well not really a problem but 7 minus 7 is 0, so all that's left in the parentheses is 3x. Half of 3x is 1.5x. Now, generally, I would tell you to move the smaller x value, but 1.5x is by itself. So I'm going to subtract 4x on both sides. We're left with negative 15 is equal to 1.5 minus 4 is negative 2.5x. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2.5, and, and negative 15 divided by negative 2.5 is 6, so 6 equals x. 
we're gonna plug that in for QT. So QT is negative seven. Actually, we'll just use the one that I rewrote is three times x, which is now six, minus seven, which is 18 minus seven, which is 11. Okay, now we're getting to the measurements of angles. Remember, consecutive angles equal 180 degrees. I should say the sum of consecutive angles. Okay, so we have 70 and x, so x plus 70 equals 180. This is an easy one-step equation, and x equals 110 degrees. The next one here, we have an x again, so x plus 95 equals 180. Subtract 95 on both sides. And x is equal to 180 minus 95 is 85 degrees. Okay, fairly simple for these. Going to get a little more complicated as we go. 14x plus 4 plus 9x minus 8 equals 180. Now what goes together? 14x plus 9x makes 23x. 4 minus 8 is negative 4, which equals 180. Add 4 to both sides. 23x equals 184. Divide both sides by 23. And x equals 184 divided by 23 in your calculator is 8. All right, same deal. 8x plus 22 plus 13x minus 18 equals 180. So what goes together? 8 plus 13 makes 21x. 22 minus 18 is 4. Minus 4 on both sides, 21x equals 176. We're going to divide by 21 on both sides, and 176 divided by 21 is roughly 8.3, so x equals 8.38. Okay. Now what do we have here? We have an isosceles trapezoid, which meant the opposite angles are supplementary, right? So, Here's your formula. 6x and 2x makes 8x. 45 plus 39 makes 84. If I subtract 84 on both sides, sorry, I'm skipping a step here. 180 minus 84 is 96. Divide both sides by 8, and x equals 12. 96 divided by 8 is 12. Same thing. 28x plus 11 plus 25x plus 10 equals 180. 28 plus 25 is 53. So 53x plus 21 is 11 plus 10 equals 180. Minus 21 on both sides. 53x equals 180 minus 21 is 159. Divide both sides by 53, and x equals 3. Okay, back to consecutive, and then those ones are uh, diagonals again. So 30x plus 11 plus 27x minus 2 equals 180. 
This one is 12x minus 1 plus 8x plus 21 equals 180. And we're going to combine our like terms. 30x plus 27x, 12x plus 8x. So we get 57x, 11 minus 2 is 9, equals 180. 12x and 8x makes 20x, 21 minus 1 is 20. I'm going to subtract 9 on both sides on the left equation. I'm going to subtract 20 on both sides on the right equation. 9s and 20s cancel. 57x equals 171. 20x equals 180 minus 20 is 160. Divide by 57 on both sides. Divide by 20 on both sides. X equals 171 divided by 57 is 3. 160 divided by 20 is 8. Okay, I'm going to set these last two up for you and you're going to complete them on your own. 78x plus 80x minus 2 equals 180. 13x plus 19 plus 13x plus 5 equals 180. Combine your like terms. 78x plus 80x is 158x minus 2 equals 180. And on this side, 13 and 13 makes 26x. 19 plus 5 is 24 equals 180 okay use your previous two as references or i should even say the previous what six eight as references finish these two up and at the end tell me what x equals remember to show all steps okay and don't forget to submit your work and check in for attendance thanks